This video will be on the concept called the armature. I was sent this video by someone in my Discord server, and I thought it was a fascinating concept. In a podcast called You Are a Storyteller, one of the hosts, Jesse Bryan, brings up a book called Making Movies and reads an excerpt where the author says that the theme will decide the specifics of every selection made in all of the following chapters. The other host, Brian McDonald, says stories don't have a theme. Stories are a theme. Stories are the manifestation of the theme. They both agree that a theme cannot be tacked onto a story. What Brian calls the theme is the armature. He explains how if you start from the outside, you can get attached to a scene or dialogue that no longer fits with what you're writing as you cut down. The armature prevents that. What's most interesting is when he starts making a story on the spot. He starts with the armature, then thinks of possible character arcs and what events could cause them. Later he asks himself, how do you show money? Because the armature was about money. Then he comes up with multiple possibilities again. When doing this, he says, you feel like you're making discoveries versus decisions, and that the ideas come faster than starting from the outside. Brian describes this as being a slave to your story. Finally, Jesse asks about your individual voice, which is an excellent question. Using the armature strategy, how would you find your own unique style? Brian says that your style comes out of how you see and interpret the world. Then he goes back to how his solutions of showing money were just his solutions and another person would probably come up with different ones. He says, style is how you personally solve problems and that it's not something you have to worry about. I think this is an effective way of writing stories, but not one that is superior to others. This style doesn't guarantee success. I also disagree with their claim that stories without themes are pointless. While it will be handicapped compared to others, a story can lack a theme and still be competent in the other three pillars. Finally, while ideas may come faster, this results in low diversity and creativity in stories. For example, if I were to start with an armature, why would I ever need to use fantasy or sci-fi? No one's problem-solving style naturally gravitates to these unless the theme is only applicable in a fantasy setting. But in that case, the theme wouldn't be good because they agree with me on the idea that themes should be lessons that you can apply in life. This idea doesn't just have negative effects on the setting, but also on the plot. I don't think plot twists are naturally in styles either. I feel like an author has to will that into existence. What about stories with multiple themes? Episodic stories often have different themes in each episode. To have the entire story connect, you need to keep your characters and world and then tell the themes through them, but that would require an attachment to the elements of your story. Death Note seems like a manga that could be written using the armature strategy, but Attack on Titan does not. The overarching theme is that war is bad and people dehumanize their enemies in order to brainwash others and make killing easier. With that theme, how do I get to season 1? How do I get to the Titan Apocalypse with walls protecting humanity and an army of Spider-Man swordsmen? How do I get those big plot twists? It's just not possible. No one's style is going to direct them towards that with this armature. They have to consciously make these decisions rather than making discoveries. In conclusion, the armature can be a useful strategy for writing, but it's not perfect because it limits creativity. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and help me revolutionize the manga industry by buying my manga and spreading the word. All important links will be in the description.